Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Breezy here, and today I'm gonna be doing this Halo Eye Valentine's Day theme. As you see, I got the pink background. So this year we're getting into the Valentine's mood, whether if you got a boo or you're going on a Valentine's Day. I just wanted to do a look for you guys, something simple, something easy for if you want that pop of color on your special little day. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna quit rambling. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave lots of love. We wanna be at like 300 subscribers by the end of 2020. So if you know anybody who's not subscribed and watching my video, don't be rude. Make sure to subscribe, okay? And follow me on all my social medias, my Instagram, my Twitter, okay? We are so close to 1K on Instagram. It's crazy, okay? We keep going up and down and up and down and up and down, but I know the Lord is going to bless me. I want to reach 1K by the end of February. And yeah, I'm going to quit rambling. Let's get into the video. Bye! Okay guys, so as you can tell, I'm doing a voiceover for this video. Eyebrows on fleek. I'm starting with my Anastasia um, eye primer. I'm just putting this all over the lid like normal. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Next, I'm taking my Pinky Rose Cosmetics Pink Paradise Palette. I'm taking this pink color and I'm forming the outer and inner parts of the halo eye first. Now I'm going to take this purple shade and blend that even closer to the center of the eye but kind of keeping some space in the middle because that's where your um, shimmer color is going to go. Now I'm going to take this cute shimmery color and we're going to put this in the center of the halo so it kind of brightens the center of the eye and darkens the outer parts of the eye. That's kind of what a halo is in case you didn't know. So I'm going to be putting this all in the middle going over it a couple of times in order to get the best payoff. Also here you'll see me putting it um, in the top arch of where my brow is to kind of give that a uh, highlighted effect. Uh, I'm taking my Amuse Black Eyeliner. I got this from Shop Miss A. If you haven't seen my Shop Miss A haul, y'all should check it out. Everything on there is one dollar, not even joking, but um, I've been using this gel eyeliner. It works perfect for what I need. I'm not a super big eyeliner person, so this just kind of gets it done for me and it has been lasting me quite a while. Now we're getting into the complexion part, favorite part. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the Peach Corrector. I've been using this lately versus the Orange Corrector. All my OGs know I used to use the Orange Corrector. Big no-no if you are in lighter complexion because it's not really gonna do nothing for you. This peach corrector does it for me. I use that on all my dark spots, under eyes, where your little mustache, five o'clock shadow, whatever you wanna call it, that really helps 
kind of brighten the skin in preparation for foundation, getting rid of those just really dark areas. Y'all know I've been using that Maybelline Superstay, so I decided to try the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I think this is in the shade 08, which is tan. I'm just taking this, moving it all over my face. As I started to blend this foundation out, I noticed it was probably like, I don't know, at some point this was my shade, but right now it's not, okay? It's looking real light on camera, but you know, once you go through the whole routine, it evens out, but I think it needed time to oxidize, or I'm not sure, but this foundation was looking real light, so I'm about to level up all my foundations because I need new complexion products because I deserve to have a bomb complexion, okay? We all do, okay? going to use our cream highlight and cream contours. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealers again. For highlight, I'm using Creamy Beige. I love this shade. Haven't veered away from it. I did decide to change my contour color to Hot Cocoa. I wanted to use a darker one just to make my contour pop out a little bit more. And as you can see, Sometimes my contour just doesn't show up as much as it used to so I don't know if that's just like my skin changing color or getting darker I'm not sure I feel like I'm getting lighter to in all honesty But and then I'm using a little bit of concealer at the bottom of the jawline Just so that way I'd have something to blend with my contour I notice sometimes my contour is like in one spot and I want to give it something to mesh with as I'm still like continuing to blend throughout the whole face I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Luxury Setting Powder in the shade Banana and I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder in Light Beige. I used the Maybelline on the bottom underneath my contour because it's not too bright as much as the Banana one from Makeup Revolution. I used that one underneath my eyes. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia kit as well and I'm taking this shade here and I'm just using that to kind of set where my cream contour is. I prefer powder contour over cream but I feel like both of them is just chef's kiss. Like I don't know what else to say but like when you put that powder on top it brings back that color, it gives you some definition, it's like it just sets everything that you were already building up to, and I just love the way it looks.
Next, I'm taking my Profusion Cosmetics blush palette and I'm taking the shade Sparks and putting this on the apples of my cheeks, blending it into my contour. And then I'm going to take that shimmer color from before and I'm just going to put that in all places where I want to highlight above my cheekbones, nose, forehead, you know the vibes. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. I am trying new things with my complexion products because my com my face makeup has not been looking as good as I want it to be. We're trying to level up today. I mean, not today, this year, period, 2020. Okay, we're trying to level up, so I apologize if things look wonky. I'm about to try some new products. So hopefully you guys will be along for the ride. And plus, you know your girl's been getting her facials okay. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment on anything else you want to see. Follow me on all my social media platforms. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.